Hello students. So today also I am doing class for class 10 and I welcome you all in my online class. So today also we are doing geometry portion that is construction number 2. This is same construction number 2 that we were doing in the last online class but the question is different out here. So we did question number uh, that is construction number 2, question number A and B were done. So let's do question number C. This is from Madhyamik Parisa 2015. Okay. So you have to construct a right angle triangle whose hypotenuse is 10 centimeter and another side is 6.5 centimeter. You know a right angle triangle, isn't it? The longest side is the hypotenuse. That is the side opposite to the angle 90 degree will be the longest side and that longest side is known as the hypotenuse. And here another side is 6.5 centimeter. Another side means it may be perpendicular or it may be base. Okay. You can write it as base as 6.5 centimeter or perpendicular as 6.5 centimeter. Okay. So after drawing a triangle, then you have to construct in circle of that triangle. Is that clear? So now let us draw a right angle triangle first whose hypotenuse is 10 cm and another side is 6.5 cm. So here we have a triangle in the right angle triangle. We have a right angle triangle in the right angle triangle. We have a triangle in the right angle triangle. We have a triangle in the right angle triangle. We have a triangle in the right angle triangle. We have a triangle in the right angle triangle. We have a triangle in the right angle triangle. We have a triangle in the right angle triangle. We have a triangle in the right angle triangle. We have a triangle in the right angle. तो पहले हमें यू ट्रायंगल बनाऊँ सो तेज़ पसी हमें क्या बनाऊँ सो इन सर्कल बनाऊँ सो ठीक सा तो लास्ट साल अन्य ऑनलाइन क्लास में भी हमें इन सर्कल नहीं बना को ट्रायंगल को बुझे बुझे ना सो लेट अस डू दिस कंस्ट्रक्शन नाउ तो पहले हमें क्या बनाऊँ सो 6.5 सेंटीमीटर बनाऊँ सो ठीक सा तो 6.5 सेंटीमीटर बनाऊँगे Suppose this is 6.5 cm, right? Suppose this is your 6.5 cm. Tick, sir? This is your 6.5 cm. Suppose this is of length 6.5 cm. Is that clear? And suppose this is of length so how to measure 10 centimeter, isn't it? Suppose this is of 10 centimeter, right? Suppose this is of 10 centimeter. And this 6.5 centimeter, suppose it is named as AB. Suppose the straight line AB is drawn, whose length is 6.5 centimeter. Okay? But in this case, you have to draw a right angled triangle, right? Uh, and in this case, the length of the hypotenuse is 10 cm. So now, let us draw a perpendicular through the point A. So this is the base AB. This is the base of the right angle triangle, right? So let us draw a perpendicular out here. So how can you draw a perpendicular? Take a compass, take any arc, and you keep the pointed needle at the point A, you draw an arc, right? This is an arc, okay? Don't change this arc now. Now, keep the pointed needle at this point. Keep the pointed needle here. Draw an arc. Don't change this arc again. Again, keep the pointed needle out here. At this point, you keep the pointed needle of the compass and then draw an arc here. Keeping the pointed needle out here, you have to draw two arcs out here. Okay? One arc is drawn. One arc is drawn here and the another arc is drawn out here. Okay. Uh, keeping the pointed needle at this point, draw an arc here and here. Okay. Draw an arc here and here. Okay. Then don't change this arc again. So without changing this arc, keep the pointed needle of the compass out here and then draw the arc here. So this new arc must intersect, must intersect the previous arc. Okay. Now join these two points. Now you have to join that two points. Now join these two points. 
so let us join these two points right so we will join these two points now so these two points are joined right these two points are joined so this is your 90 degree is that clear now you have to draw the hypotenuse so the hypotenuse is of length 10 centimeter isn't it so this is of length 10 centimeter so let us measure this length right so this is your 10 centimeter so this is of length 10 centimeter you can measure the length of 10 centimeter with the help of your ruler isn't it so suppose this is your 10 centimeter right so measure this length with the help of a compass you can measure it so you can measure this 10 centimeter okay keep the pointed needle out here and measure it okay so this is the length of the arc is 10 centimeter this is of 10 centimeter put the pointed needle out here give the pointed needle out here at this point and then measure it so this is your 10 centimeter okay now keep the pointed needle at the point b and then draw an arc then draw an arc that arc should meet the perpendicular keeping the pointed needle and keeping the pointed needle of the compass at the point b draw an arc that arc should intersect the perpendicular that is this arc is intersecting the perpendicular at this point okay suppose that point is keeping the point needle at the point b first you measure the length of the arc as 10 centimeter first of all with the help of compass measure this length 10 centimeter and keeping the pointed needle at the point b again i am showing you uh, this 10 centimeter is measured out here right now keep the pointed needle at the point b and draw an arc draw an arc intersecting the perpendicular at this point at this point suppose that point is suppose this point is what this point is c so join this bc right so now let us join these two points bc let us join these two points bc so this is your right angled triangle because one of the angles one of the angles here is 90 degree now what is to be drawn you have to draw a you have to draw an encircle encircle means inside the triangle abc you have to draw a circle okay now you have to now you have to bisect any two angles of these three angles so let us bisect this angle a and, and angle b you know how to bisect those angles isn't it now you take any arc again you take any arc keep the pointed needle out here you can uh, you can use this arc also to bisect angle a or you may draw new arc let us draw the new arc here okay so you can take any arc of this compass and keep the pointed needle at the point a and you draw an arc okay now don't change this compass Are your compass right change going to now and keeping the pointed needle at this point you draw an arc out here okay we have drawn an arc out here okay our ferry pani amili your compass la change gano then don't change this compass again and keeping the pointed needle at this point you draw an arc so that you draw an arc keeping the pointed needle at this point draw an arc that arc must meet the previous arc okay so this both this arc are meeting at this point so join this point A and this point. So join these two points now. Join this point and this point. Okay. So you join these two points. You will get the bisector of the angle A. That means the angle A is bisected. Is that clear? 
Next, you have to bisect the angle B. So again, take any arc of this compass. B point ma rakhnu, kune oda arc liyera. B point ma rakhne and draw an arc. So we have drawn arc, right? So I like change the number then, but change the number. And if any pointed needle, you you point ma pointed needle rakhu, then draw an arc here. Okay? Abo yo compass change gunu daina. Don't change this compass now. Now keeping the pointed needle at this point, you point ma say you pointed needle rakhu. Keeping the pointed needle at this point. Keeping the pointed needle of the compass at this point, draw an arc again here. So that arc must intersect the previous arc that we have drawn. Okay. Now join these two points now. So now you have to join these two points. This point and B point must be joined. These two points must be joined. So these two points are joined. And these straight lines are the bisectors of these two angles A and B. And both of them will meet at this point. Okay. Both these bisectors meet at this point. So that point is O. Right. And so now what will you do? From this point O. You have to draw an arc here so that that arc will intersect AB at the two points. Okay. Now keeping the point in needle at this point O, draw an arc. Keeping the point in needle at the point O. Now in this case, what are we doing now? From the point O, you have to draw a perpendicular upon the line AB. Okay. So that we can get the radius of the encircle. So keeping the point in needle at the point O, draw an arc so that that arc will intersect the straight line AB at the two points. Okay? So this is an arc. Is that clear? So this is an arc. So this arc that we have just drawn now, this arc that we have just drawn will intersect AB at these two points. Okay? So now, now this is the small, smaller straight line, isn't it? Again, you have to bisect this smaller straight line. So, keep the point in needle at this point, at this point. So, you adi bandali lami, sir. You draw an arc. Or, ojai jayadali damni ba. Lo, yo. Alik jayadali. Now, draw an arc below AB. We have drawn an we have drawn an arc below AB. Again, that arc was intersecting AB at this point, isn't it? Again, keep the pointed needle of the compass at this point, and now draw an arc. So, keeping the pointed needle at this point. You draw an arc. Okay? Keeping the point in needle at this point, you draw an arc here. So that both these arc will meet at this point. Now this point and O point must be joined. So now we have two points join. So this point and O point are joined. So they are joined. Right? So now, this perpendicular will intersect AB at which point? D point. This perpendicular AB is intersecting at which point? D point. Okay? So OD will be the radius of the encircle. Now taking O as the center of the encircle, taking O as the center of the encircle and OD as the radius. So taking OD as the radius, taking O as the center, draw a semicircle. Taking O as the center, 
draw a semicircle taking O as the center you have to draw a circle you have to draw a circle right taking O as the center taking O as the center draw a semi is draw a circle not semicircle draw a full circle okay taking O as the center taking O as the center and OD as the radius draw a full circle out here so this will be the in circle of the triangle ABC is that clear now so this is the in circle the Zotti so the only get even by any scene with Iana the only get the by any scene keep any other that is correct also the regular poor a by any scene say by now so this is the in circle of the triangle ABC so I think you have understood it so this is construction number two that is number C okay so we have drawn a right angle triangle here you know how to draw a right angle triangle in this case and we have drawn the in circle of the right angle triangle ABC so now we'll do the next construction now we will do the next construction that is construction number three uh, question is draw a circle of radius three centimeter first of all you have to draw a circle of radius three centimeter okay then construct a tangent to the circle at a point a on the circle so you know tangent what is the meaning of tangent the straight line which touches a circle at a point at a point on the circle is known as a tangent okay so any point a is taken on the circle and at that point a you have to draw a tangent to the circle that means the straight line which touches the circle at a point a on it is known as the tangent to the circle and the point where the tangent touches the circle is known as the point of contact so in this case this a is the point of contact okay so this question is from Madhyamik Pariksha 2020. So let us draw a circle first. Circle is of length 3 cm. You know how to measure the length of 3 cm. That is uh, from your scale from 0 to 3 cm. Okay. So let us draw 3 cm out here. Suppose this is of 3 cm, right? Suppose this is of 3 cm. So if I... Uh, write down the correct length 3 cm out here it will be very smaller and smaller with the help of this smaller circle I cannot show you the correct figure out here so I have drawn a bigger straight line here so this is not of length 3 cm but you have to measure it as 3 cm you know that right so now this is of length 3 cm is that clear this is of length 3 cm now let us draw a circle with this 3 cm as a radius of the circle. So let us measure this length. You know how to measure this length. So this is of 3 cm, right? So let us uh, mark the point O as the center. This O is a center, okay? And this, this is length, what? 3 cm, okay? Now, keeping the pointed needle at the point O, draw a circle. Now, we have to draw a circle, right? Now, we can draw a circle out here. Now, draw a circle. Now, we have to draw a circle now. Now we have drawn a circle, right? So circle can be drawn like this. So this circle is drawn with the help of a compass. Okay. So with the help of compass, with the help of compass, we have drawn a circle like this. I think you have understood it. Now you take any point 
you take any point A on the circle. So let us take the point A out here. Suppose this point is what? A. So in the question, it is given that draw a circle of radius 3 cm. We have already drawn a circle of radius 3 cm. Right? Now you have to construct a tangent to the circle at a point A on the circle. Suppose on the circle, we take a point A out here. This point is A. Now at this point A, you have to draw a tangent. So how will you draw it? First of all, you join O and A. First of all, you have to join O and A. Join it. Okay? This is OA. So what is the length of OA? It is of 3 cm. Right? Now, you have to draw a tangent. You have to draw a tangent at the point A on it. You know that this A is a point of contact and you have to draw a tangent to this point of contact A. And this OA is the radius through the point of contact A and that tangent will be perpendicular to OA. That means you have to draw a perpendicular, you have to draw a perpendicular through the point A on the circle which is perpendicular to OA radius. Okay, that will be the tangent. So how will you draw a perpendicular now? So you take any arc of a compass, okay, and keep the pointed needle at the point A. Pointed needle of the compass is kept at the point A. Now you have to draw a draw an arc. You have to draw an arc here. So the arc is drawn out here. Right? Now you can't change this arc. Your compass will change the one So the arc is intersecting the radius at this point. So point in needle is kept at this point. You draw an arc here. Okay? Again this arc is intersecting the previous arc at this point. And again keeping the point in needle at this point. Draw an arc here again draw an arc here and here you have to draw two arcs one here and one here so this second arc must intersect the previous arc okay now you can't change this arc again without changing this arc keep the uh, pointed needle of the compass at this point again and then you have to draw the arc so that it will intersect the previous arc at this point okay now this point now this point and this point must be joined so you do it a point i have a so join also so these two points must be joined so join these two points so these two points are joint is that clear so this is the point a okay let us write it as pq paq is a tangent to the circle at the point a on it so which is the required tangent here paq is the required tangent at the point a on the circle so let us write it here therefore PQ, PAQ, PAQ is the required, PAQ, PAQ is the required tangent, is the required tangent to the circle, to the circle at, at a point, at a point capital A on it capital A on it so we have drawn a tangent PAQ at the point A on the circle okay so I think I've understood it so we will do another construction now so in another construction we will draw two tangents to the given circle okay Uh, now, we'll do construction number four. 
The question is draw a circle of radius 2.5 centimeter. So in this case you have to draw a circle of radius 2.5 centimeter with O as a center. What is the center of the circle? O is the center of the circle, right? Now we have to take a point P at a distance 6 centimeter from the point O. That is, since this 6 centimeter is more than the radius of the circle, so this point P is outside the circle, which is at a distance of 6 centimeter from the center O. And from that point P, you have to draw a tangent to the given circle. Okay, now we'll do this problem now. Now, first of all, uh, you have to measure the length of 2.5 centimeter because this is the radius of the circle, right? So let us draw 2.5 centimeter out here. Uh, you know that from 0 to 2.5, right? From 0 to 2.5. From 0 to 2.5. This is of 2.5 centimeter, right? So this is of what? 2.5 centimeter. This is the radius of the circle. Now measure this length and suppose uh, this point is this point is the center of the circle that is O right O is the center of the circle let us measure this length 2.5 now so this length is measured that is this is the radius of the radius of the circle that is 2.5 centimeter now taking O as the center now you have to draw a circle you know how to draw a circle isn't it so let us draw the circle now with the help of this compass you can draw a circle so we have drawn a circle out here okay the circle is drawn out here the circle is drawn here right so this is of length 2.5 centimeter is that clear now you have to take a point p outside the circle which is at a distance of six centimeter from the center right Suppose this is of length, suppose this is of length 6 cm. Suppose this is of length 6 cm, right? Suppose this point is, this point is P. So what is the distance of OP? It is of 6 cm. And what is the radius of the circle? Radius of the circle is, it is 2.5 centimeter. Okay. Now, how can you draw a tangent to this circle from the point P? Now, you have to draw a semicircle with OP as the radius. With OP as the radius, you have to draw a semicircle out here. Okay. In order to draw a tangent, first of all, you have to draw a semicircle with OP as the radius. That means you have to bisect this OP. If you bisect this OP, you will get the uh, center of the semicircle. Is that clear? So let us bisect this straight line OP. Okay, okay. So OP ko midpoint actually on the zinia parsa. OP ko midpoint on the zinia parsa. Yo point in middle O mara kyo. Then the banda ali climb Thick, sir. Adi bandarik lamoliyo. Point O ma pointed needle, sir. Adi bandarik lamoliyo. Arc. Then, yeah, out of arc banano, yeah, out of arc banano. You know how to bisect. You know how to bisect or given a straight line, isn't it? Ya mati arc banana, out of tall arc banana. Ab yo arc change gano muda hi nahi. P point ma rakhne. P point ma rakhne. Then draw an arc here and here. So that that arc will intersect the previous arc. Okay? You P point my rakne, point needle, pointed needle, then draw an arc here and here so that both these new arc will intersect the previous arc. Is that clear? So next, what will you do? Join these two points. These two points must be joined now. These two points are joined now. So these two points are joined. Okay. So now if these two points are joined, you will get a straight line and this straight line will bisect the line OP at this point. 
and this point will be the center of the semicircle that you will draw out here okay so now taking this as the center of the semicircle and this as the radius okay so let us mark this point as now let us mark this point as what s so s is the midpoint of op that is this s will be the center of the semicircle now taking sp as the radius taking sp as the radius draw a circle semicircle right draw a semicircle now so we have drawn a semicircle that circle will intersect o and p okay this is the semicircle is that clear now and this semicircle will intersect the given circle at the point q right now we have to join this p and q join this p and q join this p and q and join this o and q join this o and q right and you know that uh, this is the angle in the semicircle isn't it and you know that angle in the semicircle is a right angle that means p cube is perpendicular to o cube o cube is the radius and p cube is the tangent to the circle is that clear now so p cube is the required tangent to the given circle so here you can write therefore uh, p q is the required tangent p q is the required tangent p q is the required tangent to the given circle to the given circle to the given circle of radius radius 2.5 centimeter is that clear so pq is the required tangent to the given circle pq is the required tangent to the given circle of radius 2.5 centimeter so now just now we learnt about how to draw a tangent to the given circle from the point outside the circle is that clear now we'll do the next construction now in that construction you will draw a circle of given radius and now we have to draw two tangents to the circle from the external point okay now we'll do that construction so i think you have understood it now we are doing same construction number four but this question is of different type that is uh, this is question number b right so the question number b is draw a circle of radius 2.5 centimeter with o as a center so in this case also you draw a circle of radius 2.5 centimeter with o as a center and then you have to take uh, you have to take a point p at a distance 5 centimeter from the point o then the point P is taken outside the circle, which is at a distance of 5 cm from the point O. Okay. Now we have to draw two tangents to the circle from the point P. So if you want to draw only one tangent to the given circle, then you have to draw a semicircle. But if you want to draw two tangents to the given circle, you have to draw a full circle in that case. The problem is same as previous one, but you have to draw a full circle right so in the previous construction we have drawn a semicircle now in this case we'll draw a, we'll draw a full circle okay now let us draw here this 2.5 centimeter length okay let us draw a straight line with length 2.5 centimeter right suppose this is 2.5 centimeter right so this is of length 2.5 centimeter and this is the center of the circle that is O right now measure this length so let us measure this length so we have measured this length with the help of compass right point and needle is kept at this point and we have measured this length 2.5 centimeter now point and needle is kept at the center O and then draw a circle right 
you have to draw a circle now you draw a circle with O as the center so we have drawn a circle out here so this is a circle this is a circle right now take a point P outside the circle which is at a distance of 5 cm from the center O So this is of length 5 cm. Uh, suppose this point is P which is outside the circle and it is of length, it is of length what? It is 5 cm, OP distance is 5 cm and what is the radius here? The radius here is 2.5 cm. Radius is this one. Okay. Uh, now what will you do? You have to draw two tangents to the circle from the point P. Now you have to bisect this point, you have to bisect this straight line OP so that we can get the center of the circle here. Okay, you have to draw a full circle out here. So in the first case, in the previous case, we, uh, we have drawn only the semicircle and in, the, in that case we have drawn only one tangent to the circle from the external point. But in this case you have to draw two tangents from the external point P. So let us bisect the straight line OP. The point in needle O my line, you know how to bisect the straight line. Point in needle is kept at the point O. Adi Mandali Lamal, you know OP Adi Mandali Lamal. Right? Now draw an arc out here. Draw an arc out here. Right? Now don't change this arc. Abu you are changing the vina. P point marake very. P point marake is your arc. Yeah. Euta arc, yeah, tala is Point in needle is kept at the point P. Euta arc, yeah, banayo. Euta arc, yeah, tala tira banay. Thik sa? Is it name? P point mana kya? Euta arc, yeah, banayo. Euta arc, yeah, banay. Thik sa? Now join these two points now. Which two points are joined? this point and this point are joined now join these two points so these two points are joined and we got this straight line is touching the circle because what is half of five half of five is two to the four one point zero two five is ten so half of five is two point five centimeter so obviously this bisector of OP must touch the circle at this point. Okay. So suppose this point is what? S. Is that clear? Now taking S as the center and SP as the radius. Since you have to draw two tangents to the given circle. So you draw a full circle. Not the semicircle but full circle. Okay, draw the full circle here. Draw the full circle now. So we have drawn the full circle out here. Okay, uh, taking S as the center, draw a full circle. Taking S as the center, draw a full circle out here. You know how to draw a circle here, right? A full circle is drawn here. Is that clear? The full circle is done right now the circle will intersect this circle just now we have constructed that circle will intersect the given circle of radius 2.5 centimeter at these two points one is q point and the other point is the t point okay now join oq first Join OQ and join OT. This, these OQ and OT are the radii of the same circle. Okay. And here you join these two points P and Q now. 
this P and Q are joint and also this P and T are joint. This P and T are joint. Okay. Now PQ is the tangent to the circle at the point of contact Q on it and PT is a tangent. PT is another tangent at the point of contact T on the circle. And also OT is the radius through the point of contact T. And also OQ is the radius through the point of contact Q. That means OQ is perpendicular to PQ and OT is perpendicular to PT. That means these are perpendicular. That means what can I write? PQ and PT are the two tangents to the given circle with radius 2.5 centimeter. So let us write down here. So therefore, PQ and PT are PQ and PT are two tangents are two tangents to the circle. PQ and PT are PQ and PT are two tangents to the circle with radius with radius 2.5 centimeters so this is the answer so i think i've understood it so this much is for today okay uh, you can revise it at home uh, you can repeat the video uh, you can repeat the video any number of times you can repeat the video if you don't understand it but again repeating the video if you don't understand you can ask me Okay, or you can call me, you know the number, my number, you know it. Okay, so this much is for today. In the next class, we'll do another construction, right? So this much is for today.